Hello everyone, it's Molly from Pen Hub Studio. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw Mort from Madagascar. Um, he is my fourth character from Instagram 6 Character Fan Art Challenge, and I'll be drawing him today in colored pencil using Faber Castell Polychromis, which are these ones, and my Karen Dosh Luminance White. Um, so, on to the tutorial. So, I'm starting Mort's portrait with this light orange colour for his eyes. I'm just going to block that in. And I'm using a ochre, I think it's called a yellow ochre, to do the shadows around his eyes. I'm just going to burnish that with my white Karen Dosh Luminance pencils. I'm just going to pushing rather hard there to flatten the tooth of the paper. So I'm drawing his pupil with my black polychromis. My pencil is very sharp for this. Um, it's very important to have a sharp pencil, especially when you're drawing the pupil of an eye. You've really got to get that crisp outline. So now I'm filling it in. So I've got to remember to leave my white catch light. It's a very important part of drawing an eye. So there is my little catch light. Usually it's part in the iris and in the pupil, but this one's just in the pupil. So I'm getting my dark grey and going and outlining around the very outside of his eye. And I'm going to do the exact same thing in his other one. So light orange filling it in. My oh is there a light brown this time? Going around and shadowing the outside. So the shadowing around the outside is very important to make it look round um, so it's not flat. So I'm going through and burnishing with my white pencil again. And more shadows. So it's very important if you don't have it it'll look very flat and that's not what you want in eyes. The eyes are one of the most important part of a portrait, which is in a drawing in general. Here is my pupil. And look at your reference photo to see where the cat side is. Oh, and here's my reference photo so you can see what I'm looking at. For the outline, I traced it off my computer monitor. Um, of my reference photo. Now, tracing is good and also freehanding is good. Um, they're both very useful for different reasons. Um, the best way is to use a combination of both. Freehand something, trace something, it's the best way to um, improve your skill, your drawing skills. But for this one, for the time factor, I just traced it. So, Drawing his little mouth and nose, I've started with my light pink, light skin tone, and going through with my, I think it's called Kaput Mortem, from the Faber-Castell Polychromis range, but it is just like a dull pink colour, and with my sepia, my dark grey. Putting the little, so I lift the little white dot for his little tooth there. So that's the sort of thing you've got to watch your reference photo so you don't accidentally colour it in. So going through and adding the pink around the outside of his mouth. And there's his little nose. Adding his little nostrils in there. Yes, there he is. Yeah, just add his nose. 
and just darkening up the shadow in his mouth. And just burnishing that a little bit with the white. So, starting on his little belly. So, this area there is a light brown. I'll be shading this yellow ochre. I'll be shading that in first. Just using a light, light hand just for the base layers just to get some pigment down on the paper. One thing I've always got to remember is not to worry about the colour too much. It's more important to focus on your values and that your line drawing is accurate. So just adding a little bit more texture in his little fur. And finishing it a bit more. And his little nose and really lightening it up and really squashing the tooth of the paper so I'm just going to add a little bit more texture with my light brown so filling in oh yep I didn't pull it down far enough so that example I traced that out wrong so you can see that you need to come down more so look at your reference photo very important. Yeah. So, filling in his the rest of his body, starting with a light brown, working up to a dark brown, burnishing with a bit of white, and there's my dark brown. Make a little map, glazing with some oranges. There, I'm going around with my dark colours and putting some outline in. Bit of glazing. There it is. So starting on his tail, using a light brown for the map, and I'm adding some dark colours, building the fur texture there, and then outlining, glazing with white. Oh, I've got his little eyebrows, very important. And I'm just adding a little shadow, and there is Mort's finished portrait. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Now remember you can follow me over on Facebook and Instagram. Links below in the video description. I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you do, you'll be able to see a couple of my other little characters appear very soon as well. So thank you. Bye.